Tuesday night on the big story we're following this morning, the Gilbert Town Council looking to make changes to crack down on teen violence in the East Valley. Tonight they will vote on whether to create a special committee committee in response to recent incidents and a group known as the Gilbert Goons. ABC 15's Ohalani Graf tracking the latest. So, Nohe, you're diving deeper into this. What exactly would the subcommittee do? So Nick and Megan, the ultimate goal here is to get everyone on the same page and start making some headway to prevent any future attacks. It's also a way to get more clear, vetted information on the attacks that have already happened, including the beating death of Preston Lord at a Halloween party in October. Three council members proposing this new committee. They include Scott Anderson, Chuck Bongiovanni, and Jim Torgensen, and that's who would make up this committee. And if approved by the town council, they're hoping to be able to better identify the scope of the attacks, some of which ABC 15 has reported on. Also understand the police response, the community outrage, and ultimately be able to make recommendations for any policy changes. And that could range from how to work with the police department to holding community listening sessions. Tonight, the council is going to be voting on the focus of the subcommittee so that it has a clear derivative. In the meantime, for the Preston Lord case, charges have been recommended for seven people. The county attorney says it is sorting through an 1800 page report submitted by police as well as more than 600 videos. So it is going to take some time here. Our team in the meantime has continued to push for on camera interviews with Gilbert and Queen Creek Police, since that's where the beating took place. We so far has been, have been denied both, but we will continue to push for that. The council members we spoke with add that creating this committee is also a way to take action as a community that right now feels helpless and frustrated when it comes to shutting down the goons and holding criminals accountable. So this is a way that maybe people can feel like progress is going to happen. Megan and Nick. Well, especially since there was such a waiting period as they wanted to see some of those charges even be recommended in the Preston Lord case. I know patience is difficult. We're talking mm -hmm. about a 16 year old who lost his life. And parents want answers there. No, hey, thank you for that update.